Hello, welcome along everyone to another Ski Sunday, Ski Sunday number 20. Great to be here. Um, thanks for everyone that's uh, joined. Pixel Chaos, how are you doing? Um, and I can't pronounce this, it's, it's so hard. Et, et, squarely, quill. Uh, you need to kind of spell it out so hard to pronounce, but thanks for coming along. Um, I'm... Yeah, I'm trying a few things out. I haven't had that much time this week, uh, but I've got a second computer now, which is kind of running some other, you know, the kind of monitoring of the of this stream. So I'm hoping that it's going to ease a bit of the CPU on my computer and hopefully run a bit more smoothly uh, today. So yeah. Um... Oh, cool. Pixel okay. Cut. You're learning how to get into the MPC Live too. Cool. Yeah, we had some of those actually at Point Blank, um, and but I didn't really, I've never really got into an NPC, which is strange because I used to use an Akai uh, S3000. That's kind of how I, well, I was producing on that for for many years, um, but never kind of transitioned over to the NPC. Um, but yeah, cool. I hope you're getting on well with that. Um, I'm sure it's very uh, inspiring. Uh, I've seen... Um, yeah, my friend Danny Lewis has been on the Machine Plus and having a lot of fun with that. I think there's a lot to be said for the kind of that standalone hardware um, kind of thing. Although for me, kind of push push does that for it, you know, and then I kind of have the added benefit of, you know, being able to kind of finish it all off. So I kind of quite like the way the two go hand in hand. Um, but. Oh, cool. <laughs> Old school DJ only vinyl. Nice. Well, it's, uh, yeah, much respect. Cool. Okay, so what are we going to be doing today? So this is um, actually something that came in as a, as a request on Discord, which was really nice because uh, I'd actually already done a quick video about this. Um, and it's this track by Quist Christine and the Queens featuring Damn Funk called Girlfriend. Um, it's a brilliant track. I really loved it. And... I just kind of just made a really quick video just because I wanted to figure out what the chords were myself and then realised there was a bit of a story around it in the um, whoever, whether whether it was Chris or the producer or whatever, had used some Apple loops um, as a kind of inspiration for the track. And um, yeah, you know, I've, I've actually kind of got those up here, so we're going to have a listen to those. So, But I thought it'd be quite nice just to revisit it um, maybe kind of look at the pattern, drum pattern. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it exactly the same, but just kind of at least look at the pattern, look at the chords, look at the bass, um, any other kind of synths maybe, um, and just kind of put it together, see what happens. Um, also, um, at the end, um, we had a late entry for the, for the sample pack competition. Well, that wasn't really a competition. It was just a, a challenge. Um, and that was from David Henkel. I don't know if you're there, David, watching, but um, we're going to play your track at the end. Uh, really nice Detroitish type track, which uh, I only found out about after the, at the end of the last stream. So um, we're going to have a look at that. Cool. So let's get cracking on this. Um, I think, first of all, I'm going to just kind of play through the track and just split it up into the different sections. Um, in fact, what I'm going to do for that is I'm just going to uh, link the tracks. Um, I've, I've sort of covered this uh, kind of at the start of the streams, actually. It's, it's, a, it's a new Live 11 feature. It's really great because it means that um, if I say just do an, a cut edit on there, it will do the same thing to... Um, the other tracks that it's linked to which is which is really neat um cool so let's have a play um i'm just going to sort of mark out the sections here i mean it pretty much i think it runs it's the same kind of loop running all the way through but it's just marking kind of where the actual different sections of the track are so cool let's have a listen uh, okay oh yeah and probably i should just let you know that i've used neural mix pro here just to separate separate out um the drums and the acapella um, so uh, they'll probably come in useful a bit later down the line. Chris. Okay, let's just go from the start here. But back 
skin, skin. Straight in with the verse, first Fish verse. Skin, fresh from the reason. Who's a lady near arms? Girl, gasp with envy. Fum, I didn't mean me king endlessly. Same as anything, small lumps on my jaw. For lusting after is the usual for sure. May your girl come, birdie day on the dispel. Cool, so we're in there with a the chorus, so let's just name that uh, verse one and uh, this as the intro. Um, we'll give them some colours afterwards, so let's just carry on listening into the chorus. Girlfriend, don't feel like a girlfriend. So I'm just going to name that the chorus. So this is super simple arrangement, um, which I love. Uh, so, so here we kind of go to like a middle eight, even though it's the same chord. You got to keep on rolling, girl. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Roll. Nice sort of turn around at the end. Cool. So um, let's just. Oops, didn't spell that very well. Keys solo. Um, nice. All right. So let's just um, label some of these up. So let's go for uh, the verse. Let's give that a little that whatever that color is. Is that the same color? Yeah, I think so. Uh, chorus. Let's give the chorus. Um, ooh, what should we give that? Let's give uh, that. Horrible orange red color. Uh, intro, let's give that a blue color. Um, middle, let's give that a green color. Oh my God, this is really uh, pretty garish, isn't it? Give that a light blue color. And then we've got a little turnaround at the end. We'll give that a that color. Nice. Um, so, yeah. So we've got the sections here um, and I think now is a good, good opportunity to uh, listen to the Apple loops that it came from. So I took a screenshot. I don't want to, I don't want to switch to uh, Logic now because <laughs> I uh, might crash. Um, but you can just search these uh, up in Logic in the Apple loops. Um, they're called Neon Light and uh, it's a whole pack really. It's beats, guitar, keys, percussion topper and synth bass. And the main sounds that um, she used were the beat, one of the beats, um, a bit of the guitar, um, and a keys loop. 
So I've got all of these now. They're, they're, I've converted them to WAVs. So this is the beat. So that's one beat. I think this is probably the basis of the one that she used. So really great. Um, and then the uh, killer riff. So a real kind of 80s Jam and Lewis kind of DX70 type sound. There's another one here as well. So that's like a slight kind of variation on that. Um, and then we've got some guitars as well. I think that's the one that she used. So they're, they're all great. And there's a percussion topper. Kind of like 808 toms. Um, and then some bass. But I don't think these are related, to be honest. Cool, so let's uh, let's sort of dive in a little bit and maybe let's just take uh, the keys to start with. So I'm just going to drag that on here um, and I suppose it's kind of acting in a similar way to uh, an Apple loop. Um, and yeah, let's just kind of get it, uh, get it um, kind of looped up. Uh, I'm gonna just solo that track for the moment and it's found the first transient. So let's just set 1.1 there. Uh, get rid of that warp marker and just drag that there. There we go. And uh, let's just turn it down a bit. Great, and just lose that. So let's just loop that section and put the metronome on. Now I've got a sound here, which uh, is a free DX7 emulator. It's called Dext. Just so it's... I mean, it's the classic electric piano sound. And I've just got to go through a chorus. This is just uh, an Ableton chorus. Let me just check now in nine. Um, yeah, it's different now. So that's coming up as a kind of old plugin, a legacy plugin. Um, but it's now in this, isn't it? It's now it's now in the chorus ensemble. So um, yeah, I don't think that exi exists anymore. Let's use the new one. Okay, so what is uh, what's going on with the with the chords here? I'll bring up my keyboard. Um. So we've got the first chord here is like an E minor seven. Then it goes to a B minor seven. back to the kind of E minor seven, but with a C in the bass, which means it's turning into a C minor nine. And then ending up on this, which is an F major seven. So that's the chords. Um, and 
if we now listen, I'm just going to solo that and we now just lose that and then just play the original. <laughs> So that's actually transposing. So it's going from the G, it's from the E minor, and it's going up a minor third. So. If you listen to this, in the bass it's actually going down to an F instead. So rather than going up to the D, it's going to playing an F. So it's and I think the chord is slightly changing in the right hand as well. So we're playing that, which is like a sort of F triad with a sus2 in it as well. And it's got a passing note, it's a D. Um, I've actually done a chord chart here, so I can bring that up. There we go. So. There we go. So that's that's kind of how that's being used. So it's definitely not the original loop that she used. Uh, this is definitely something that was replayed. So um, yeah, I think inspiration is the, is is the key here. Um, so yeah, so that's how that was used, and let's just have a look at the beat now as well. Um, so I'm gonna, I'll drag the beat over. Let's just mute that track. Uh, let's go back down to the project. Um, so let's take this one. Cool. So let's just get that looped up because that's going to be uh, really useful. Um, you can see with these Apple loops that they, they uh, always lead a little gap at the start. Um, so there must be something in Logic where they'll, they sort of automatically find the start point and then uh, kind of when you drag it on, onto the arrange view in Logic, it will kind of automatically syncs up. Um, but that's not happening uh, here. Let's just take away that. Let's just increase the loop length a little bit. So I'm going to solo this, turn it down a bit. Okay, so it's not looping very well. Let's just, um, that's better. And what's happening there? Take that bit off. Ah, oh, cool. It's just got to take the end point there. Cool. So maybe, maybe what I should do is just record in uh, the keyboard part that uh, is playing. Here, so let's just sort of that. So, get my sustain pedal, that's gonna help. Okay, let's uh, bring the keyboard back up again. There we go. Let's record that in. Normally 
I'm recording in session view. Uh... Okay, I think I'll, I'll, I'll probably record that. I probably will will uh, get over to session view uh, in a bit, but at least we've kind of got that as a as a reference point. Um, and yeah, let's maybe look at the bass as well uh, because I just kind of played quite quite high up there with no. I, I purposely didn't play the bass down here. Um, so let's go back to the original as a, a reference. Uh, let's just make that smaller okay so I've got a bass sound which I'm going to use a bit loud this is a sound uh, it's one of my favorite sounds actually that for some reason it's not included in the library anymore it's called boff and a bass and it's an operator sound and it's just killer I used it on so much stuff and it's weird it's not in the library anymore so it's like a legacy sound uh, so um, yeah I'll, I'll definitely upload this project uh, to the um, discord my discord uh, server so you can actually grab that sound um, cool so let's just play along with that um, And I think there's a there's a sort of second riff that goes on there as well. What is it? Is it that? Let's just take the cool so yeah let's let's record that in as well so in that case i'm gonna just double the length of the beat and the keys and let's go over here let's just take it off solo simple let's record it in oh, sorry wish I didn't use the sustain pedal now on those keys just got to get that passing note let's go again Okay, cool. So that's uh, working nicely. I'm just going to just uh, try this uh, road again, just without the sustain pedal. See if I can actually hack it. I can do it. really nice isn't it that uh, 
funky bass. Um, actually, it's, am I, have I got the record quantize on here? Yep, it's on there. So that's good. That's been, that's playing in time. Um, cool. All right. Well, that's, that's pretty good. Um, maybe now is the, now is the time when I can actually uh, head over to session view. Uh, so um, I think doing, yeah, rather than doing uh, consolidate to new scene, which yeah, could be an easy way of doing it. I'm just going to grab these and just bring them over there. Uh, let's take the Boffner bass as well. Uh, cool. And then, yeah, for the moment, let's just grab this beat, um, which is there, I believe. Cool. So let's just check that's working. And we need to start looping these up, don't we? So let's just loop that. That's a four bar loop. Great. And then this as well. That is an eight bar loop. And this as well, that's an eight bar loop. Now, um, I'm going to head back over here because uh, let's have a listen to um, how the how these drums and the acapella were split up. So this is using Neural Mix Pro. Um, it's it's an basically kind of an acapella extractor, but it has the added advantage that you can uh, extract the beat um, and the kind of musical element as well. So uh, all I wanted for this was the beat and the acapella. So this is this is how it sounds with just the beat. So pretty good. You can hear some sort of artifacts. You can hear some some of the uh, original uh, sounds in there, um, sort of bits of the vocal and bits of the music. Um, and then we got the acapella, and the acapella didn't come out too badly either. So let's just have a listen to that. I'm on a flick, skin to skin, so the skin, which one moves on. Who's a living their arms, girl gasp with envy. Boom, by the name he king and sleep. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to unlink these now. Um, I don't need them linked anymore. That was just for the kind of chopping process. Um, so we can just actually kind of have a listen to what that's going to sound like. Um, if we just drag that over here, we can listen to um, the vocal together with. Uh, the recreated parts apart from the beat that is. Right, so what's going on with the loop there? That's not very good. Uh, I should have spotted that. That's not an exact loop on the bass. And is that the same with this as well? Uh, no, that looks like it's an exact loop. Cool. So what I thought might be quite good, and seeing as we've got these, the advantage of having um, these kind of extracted uh, beats together with where it came from as well, is to um, maybe kind of take this beat here And maybe take a bit like that section there. Um, so just that loop there. And maybe we can actually kind of um, slice that to MIDI and then start actually going through the process of replacing um, some of those sounds. 
So I'm just going to move the acapella up there. So we've got the, the drums here. Um, and I've got a, a pack that I found. I, I suddenly remembered actually um, about this and it came out a few years ago. It's a drum rack. It's called Purple Drums. Um, let me just bring up the uh, website for this. It's free. And what it is, is a kind of recreation of the Lindrum that um, Prince used. Um, and kind of how he used to use those sounds as well. So there you go. There's the link. I'll put that in the chat now so you can check it out. Cool. So it's a Lin, it's a Lin M1, emulation of Lin M1, um, together with some effects. And it's basically trying to recreate the definitive Minneapolis drum sound uh, in honor of um, Prince himself. So uh, go check it out, it's free. Um, I'm gonna quit Chrome now um, and I'll just play what it sounds like. Uh, it's just so on here. So I think the killer thing are these, you can really recognize that um, as, you know, the print sound. Um, if I just open it up. So that's basically called this, it's the side stick. Um, and what's great is that you can, it's just tuned down. So that's probably how it's meant to be. Hey Moda, happy Sunday to you too, no worries. Um, Cool, so there's that, and there's also this clap as well, and we can tune that back up. It's got a nice, nice snare as well. So uh, what I was gonna do is maybe use some of these sounds um, to replace the kicks and the snares uh, in, in this beat, the one that we've extracted from the original, um, and maybe just sort of look, at, look at some of the other parts as well, just so we can kind of get a rough um, B and also it may be that actually in the in the kind of slicing process we can get some nice sort of, sort of sounds as well. So um, let me just let's just remind ourselves of the beat. I'm just wondering actually if maybe we can make it a bit longer. Uh, let's just take maybe a four bar loop. Yeah. Okay, let's take that then. Um, cool, so let's uh, cut that there. And let's just take the drums. I want to, I just want to, I don't want anything to be in the way here. So I'm just going to do, do a bit of housekeeping. So we've got the bass here, we've got the purple drums. What's this one? Um, oh, that was the loop, wasn't it? So uh, in fact, we don't need that anymore. So I'm going to, I'm going to. That's the keyboard loop. Um, and then we've got the, the neon light drums as well. So I'll just call that neon drums. And we've got the purple drums there. So let's just drag that down there. And then we've got the purple drums. It's just so we've kind of got everything uh, separated. And let's just call that bass. Right, so let's just do take this now, and I'm gonna do uh, uh, hold on a sec. Ah, what we need to do is warp it. So let's just check it's still working. There we go. Cool. So um, let's just right click and then slice to new MIDI track. And then we're gonna use the transients, um, which it should, have, it should have just worked out for itself. There we go. Cool, so we can mute that now. And then what it's done is it's created a drum rack. And it's, it's kind of looped everything. So let's just take the loop length down. 
and let's just play it. Um, it's missing that first kick, isn't it? So let's just uh, quantize this. Bit quiet, isn't it? But um, never mind. Let's not worry about that. In fact, let's let's just put a utility over it just to uh, make it a bit louder. So what we can do is, uh, if we, we just want to highlight the drums, and actually there's a feature, I was, I was looking at this earlier and I was thinking it'd be really good if you could actually colour um, the individual events. I don't think there's a way of doing that, is there? So I thought, well okay, the, the best way to do it then in that case is just to mute, wherever there's a kick, to mute it. Um, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do. So there's a kick there. Kick there as well, mute that. Oops. Um, kick there as well, mute that. Hey, Shlomo. Hey, Shlo, you got a shout out by the BBC last night. I saw that. Watching the, watching the um, smile group on the, 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 uh, the Glastonbury live uh, stream, which all went a bit wrong. But yeah, that was great. I thought, yeah, I thought that smile group were incredible. Don't know what time sign, uh, the, I, actually I figured out the first song they did was in 11, 11, eight, I think. I don't know how they do it. Uh, okay. Great. <laughs> That's what you want, isn't it? Okay. So I'm, what I'm just doing here is just, I'm just taking out the kicks uh, so I can then replace them. Um, so if I play that now. Kano, oh my god, yeah, I saw that. I saw sort of like the first 20 minutes of it and it was just mental with that sort of like bra section coming in. Ah, oh, it was just incredible. I was trying to figure out though if it was actually raining there last night or when I found it because it looked like I could see the kind of the, the keyboard play. He was like playing the CP80 piano and it just looked like it was covered in water. I was thinking, I was just, I was getting all kind of paranoid and about equipment thinking, Oh God, they're all going to get really wet um, and it's going to break all their equipment. Um, okay, cool. So I've got that right. What I'm going to do now is drag that clip uh, down to the purple drums um, here. And so uh, not that. Let's go down here. So I want I want that kick basically. Um, so I'm now playing that. I'm just going to solo here, and where you can see you can see the clips that are muted. Um, I'm going to actually before I before I unmute them, I'm just going to put them all down to uh, the kick there. This is all slightly laborious. I'm sure, there are other ways of doing it, but sometimes. No pain, no gain. I wonder if I do this, if I just like. It's like Tetris, isn't it? <laughs> it really is Tetris. Someone needs to do an Ableton version of Tetris. Uh, okay, so now what I can do is if I unmute those, zero, and then mute everything else. Yes, there we go. We've now found the kick pattern and I can put this back now.
you know what there's an extra one that I missed out which I think is there uh, so let's just Yeah. Cool, and I think now we can do the same thing for the snares. So I'm pretty sure the snare is just coming uh, on, just on the two and four. Yeah, so uh, I can just mute the snares here. So this is just quite a nice way of sort of retaining some of the elements of the original, but actually kind of figuring out the pattern. Um, so now what we can do is we can just take uh, this, for example, snare, and I'm just going to just put that on the two and four. And because we've got this nice clap and that as well, I'm going to use, I'm going to just duplicate all of those. And we'll work on the sound on the mix in a minute, but. In fact, let's just do that now. Let's just uh, mix those a little bit better. Uh, so let's just go over to uh, the purple drums. There we go. And cool. So let's just open that up. Um, okay, so there's a bit of mapping here. We've got there's this macro here which says drums blend, and then that's kind of blending all these drums. So. I, what I want, I don't really want that. I want to be able to control those levels myself. So as much as uh, <laughs> I appreciate the work that went into creating that instrument, um, I'm going to unmap all those. Uh, there we go. And also, uh, I think we should uh, add a reverb here as well. Um, so let's uh, go for an EMT, just an internal reverb, there we go. Let's just take the time down a bit. We can increase the clap. Okay, that's nice. Um, what have we got on the kick? We haven't got anything on the kick. So let's maybe just add a bit of uh, EQ8. Nice. So what else? Let's let's maybe let's reference the uh, original neon beat now as well, just because I want to just see what was have a listen to what was happening with the hi hats in there. Okay, it sounds to me like maybe it's a six oh six. Um, hey, Up in Smoke, how's it going? Up in Smoke tour. Nice to have you along. Um, okay, cool. So it sounds to me like it's a it's a 606 hat. It doesn't sound to me like it's the uh, Lin drum hats there. So let's go over here. Type in 606. Um, I'm not sure why it's not playing, but never mind. There you go. Quite quiet, but um, 
Ooh, we've run out of space. There we go. It's a bit unusual for me actually, working this way. I normally work all in succession view, but uh, hey, let's do something a bit different. Okay, that's nice. So this is quite cool because it's got some macro set up here. Okay, so let's just um, amp what that what's what the hi hat's doing in in uh, the original neon beat. comes in. But let's tune it up one more. Take it down a little bit as well. Um, okay, let's take out the neon drums now. Let's just listen to this. up too much wasn't it let's just put it back down to there oh, maybe even maybe still too much <laughs> it's probably somewhere in between isn't it but let's put it back up again um okay so let's just go back to these drums So there's always little kind of bits that are going in between. Like there. That sounds great, isn't it? Maybe we'll just leave it kind of bubbling around in the in the background there. Cool, let's take this out. I mean, the other thing that might be quite interesting to do while we're here um, is to maybe slice this beat to MIDI as well, um, because you know we might get some nice sounds out of it. So uh, this is remember this is the Neon uh, beat, the original Apple Loop. So let's just slice that to MIDI as well, and we might get some interesting sounds out of that. Loop off. Yeah, I mean, these kicks are great, aren't they? So that is just, that's just playing the MIDI now. So what could be interesting is, I know this is a bit time consuming, because these sounds are better, they're not coming from the Neuromix Pro. Is just to take out the kicks and hats from this. Mute these. Love that sound.
Hey, thanks for the subscription. Uh, upper, oh, I missed it, upper at something. Thank you, really appreciate that. I promise I'll stop the, uh, I'll make sure these crashes don't happen anymore in the future. Nice. Okay. Oh, there's some more, aren't there? Don't want to miss those. Okay. So if we play that now. Nice. So let's play it with the drums now. with the hats and let's loop it as well so what's great is we've got some you know really nice sounds we've extracted I love these in fact let's just Go back on here and just set the release. Great, so I'm really happy with that as, as a kind of recreation uh, of the beat. Um, it's essentially, you know, bits, bits of the original, bits of the neon light, um, this, the, the purple Lindrum, um, and a bit of 606. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. So I'm going to uh, just, yeah, we don't need we don't need that loop anymore. So I'm just going to forget about that. Um, and what do we have here? Uh, oh yeah, that was the, we don't need that either because this uh, was the extracted drums. Uh, so we don't need that at all. So we just need these, these uh, three parts here which I'm going to uh, drag over to here. Let's just lose that and here. And here. Cool, and let's just uh, solo those. Going to need to loop these, aren't we? As well, that's looping fine. That's probably not looping fine, is it? There we go. Just to get the right start point. Nice, and then the hi-hat as well. That's looping pretty nicely. Right, so let's bring in the DX7 now. Um, so let's just put some reverb uh, on on a return uh, so that we can put some on the roads maybe. Uh, let's just solo it. Yeah. 
And then we're going to go here. Um, but, ah, so that's interesting. So this, um, I need to, before I copy over these acapellas, I think I need to walk them uh, and we can get them at the right start points. Um, let's just go back here. Uh, Uh, yes, current time with the clips, thank you. Cool, let's just walk that as well, yes. And this as well, chorus, yep, yes. And the middle eight. Um, and then I think, yeah, just to sort of finish this off, um, I'm going to just look at the kind of pad that comes in in the chorus, because it's a really nice pad. Uh, but let's just copy these over now uh, and then is that that should be yeah. nice and let's do the same thing for the other ones so we've got the first two and here as well chorus middle Give ourselves a bit more space. And then we've got that bit there. So let's just check the middle bit. Ah, oh, did I not warp it? <laughs> I copied the beat by mistake. There we go. Okay, cool. So let's just look at what uh, happens in the chorus with the synths. Um, in fact, what I'm going to do is just take the original here and just put that there so we can just work in session view. Um, hey, salute. <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, Operatoms. So hard. Some of, the, some of these Twitch names are so hard. Uh, okay, cool. So let's listen to uh, what's happening here. Uh, let's just solo that. Uh. Oh, we've got the guitar as well. Don't want to listen to these out on the guitar. Okay. Don't feel like a girlfriend. But don't be your lover. All right. Let's let's focus on this. Um, so let's just loop that. So twenty five to forty one. All right, so let's um, get something very simple. Let's get the towel. The most overused synth ever. And I think, yeah, we can kind of get some, uh, probably brass sound, I would have thought, Just as a starting point. Uh, let's see what we've got.
So it's going to be something like... <laughs> Brighter. We can put a bit of reverb on it as well. We need something kind of modulating uh, that, don't we? So maybe I can do that from push. Uh, so. Uh, let's just identify where it is. That's there. Filter cut off. Uh, cool. So let's just group. Nice. And then filter cut off. Uh, let's map, so put map on, filter cut off, we're going to map to macro one, and then we're going to use the lovely live 11 feature where we can just have one macro. There we go. So just twiddling that there. Uh, so let's just, yeah, let's put in the chords first, and then we can just look at kind of recording in some automation, clip automation. Let's record it in. Let's just quickly edit this these clips a bit because the I think there's kind of quite a sharp cut off with those notes. Let's turn it down a bit as well. Okay, so let's record that in as some uh, clip automation. Uh, automate is on there, so let's just... Oh, wrong part there. Let's undo that. Let's do that. Let's go. There we go. It there. Nice. So let's copy that down to uh, the second chorus as well. And we've got one more part, which is the uh, neon guitar. So let's just create an, an audio track and see if we can actually just. Uh, put that in. It may be better actually to uh, work in a range in a range view for for this. Um, so let's just solo that, and let's just create our audio track there. And let's just. Name that synth. There we go. So let's just, yeah, let's just play from here. Don't feel like so it, it happens kind of. Don't feel 
So if we go back to the project here and the samples and the neon light guitar samples. <laughs> It's that, isn't it? So um, let's just drag it on here. And first of all, I'm just going to get it in time. So, so let's just uh, solo that. Okay, so let's just set one point, oops, 1.1 there. Get rid of that old warp marker. Make sure that's playing from the start of the bar. And put the metronome on. I think what I might need to do is actually just quantize it like that. Um, you kind of don't need don't need those last uh, sounds, but it doesn't matter. Those last two kind of hits. Um, now let's listen to the original again. Now, from because the uh, keyboards were originally were in E. Uh, in fact, let's just let's just get the get a, uh, a sound up, and then we can figure out what's going on. Let's get the uh, the MPK up. I can show you the notes. It's lost the MIDI connection settings, so I'm just going to reset it. There we go. Right, so. So that's based around the A, and then if I go to play the original, so it's going up a minor third. So we can uh, just do that in here. We can transpose it up one, two, three semitones, which is a minor third. There we go. Um, let's just listen to if it happens any more. So it probably was, to be honest, recorded again um, with a real guitar. Because basically here, the first time it goes da 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 and then the second time it's da 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 which isn't in the sample, I don't think. Yeah. Uh, never mind. Um, cool. So let's just. Uh, take the loop off. And. We could recreate it, but I'm not going to do that now. What we could do is probably slice to MIDI and then create an actual instrument out, out of it. Um, but. Not, not for now. Um, 
Okay, um, right, what I'm going to do with this then is um, I'm going to create a, another track and I'm going to freeze this track. Um, this is just basically just to make a, a quick kind of clip. In fact, that didn't work at all, did it? Um, let's do it a different way. <laughs> let's unfreeze it. Uh, let's take the input as two neon light guitar. There we go. And uh, let's just do it. Uh, Pre-effects. Cool, let's just check it's coming through. Cool, and let's just record that in. Nice. Okay. So now I should just be able to grab that and then take it over to the chorus and let's just hide the keyboard and let's just solo that to make sure it's coming out nice and put a bit of reverb on it take the metronome off and Let's just play it with some of the other parts. Oh, is it looped? No, it's not. There you go. Let's loop it. Um. Okay, I think that's, um, I'm going to pretty much leave it there. Um, I'm going to just play through from the top uh, and just add in the bass and the drums as a little intro and just play it down. Um, and then we're going to have a listen to the David Henkel's submission for the sample pack uh, challenge because we weren't able to play that at the uh, end of the last one because I didn't, well, I wasn't aware of it, <laughs> which is a real shame. Cool, so. Okay, so just a little play playthrough of this um, and then we'll get on. Yes, so Moda, I did uh, convert them and uh, I'll show you what I used. Um, I mean, you can use, you can use a, var a variety of um, different kind of conversion programs, but I use this one called uh, Media Human Audio Converter. Uh, it's very very useful actually. It pretty much converts everything um, apart from Sound Designer two files, which are really tricky to use. But yeah, this is really great. You just drag them on. You just set where you want the destination folder. Um, you set, you know, the, these these are all the different formats it can convert to: FLAC, AIF, WAV, Windows Media, Audio, MP3. Um, and yeah, I just converted them. So if you wanted to, you could do that with all the Apple Loops. <laughs> but very useful. Cool. Let's just have a little playthrough of this. Then here we go. Girlfriend, don't feel like a girlfriend. Girlfriend, 
go um hope you enjoyed that i'm uh that was really good fun uh definitely apologies for the uh crash in the middle so let's have a listen to david henkel's track i don't know if david you're there um moda yes sorry i'm gonna i'm gonna upload the last two i will do that this evening i promise so i will definitely load that up um to the uh discord subs only channel um cool so let's have a listen to david henkel's submission so he um as i said he submitted this uh unfortunately kind of about 20 minutes before um and i missed it so uh here we go so this is his uh De detroit kind of sample uh, pack challenge anyone that's watching now that didn't watch last week um, this is basically a few weeks ago I created a sample pack in an hour of some sort of drum sounds and bass and keyboard sounds and I uploaded those um, and then I set a challenge for anyone that wanted to to uh, make a track out of it so that you can still download them they're on my website um, if you go onto discord you can see the link um, I think maybe for someone it didn't work but um, hopefully that's working now um, but uh, yeah Funky on did a did a wicked track and I really like this as well. So let's have a listen. Here we go. This is from David Henkel.
Wicked. Fantastic. Love it, David. Thank you so much for that. Really brilliant.